Hi, it's Helix Carlson here, and today we're going back to the world of Batman. This just got a 4K release. The movie I'm talking about is the animated film from 1993, Batman Mask of the Phantasm. This film was not in theaters for very long and unfortunately didn't do very well in said theaters, but did get very positive reviews, and it's now widely revered as one of the best Batman films ever made, despite being animated. I'm going to unbox this release and share my opinion. Nice close-up there. I do like that cover art. Got all the pertinent key players of the film together. Here's our spine. Spine on the other side. Disappointingly, no steelbook release of this one, which is kind of surprising, especially given how widely revered this film is. Underneath our slip cover, pretty much the same art. We do get a digital code of the film. And over here we have our 4K disc. 4K disc only in this one, unfortunately. There is no Blu-ray copy included. And just a brief disclaimer that other than the bonus features, any image you see in this review was pulled from the older Blu-ray as I don't have any way of getting 4K screen caps. I'm going to read the description of the film from the package. The Dark Knight must save Gotham City from a new threat. When a woman from Bruce Wayne's past, Andrea Beaumont, comes back into his life, Bruce questions whether he should continue protecting Gotham City as Batman, but his introspection is short-lived when the city's most notorious crime bosses are killed and the Cape Crusader is blamed for their murders. The Dark Knight sets out to clear his name, revealing a new masked vigilante, the Phantasm. Based on the hit television show Batman the Animated Series and featuring Warner Brothers' first ever use of computer-generated animation, this film noir-inspired original story continues the Batman legacy with a dark mystery involving the Phantasm and Batman's infamous arch-rival, the Joker. Batman the Animated Series is widely revered as one of the greatest TV shows ever made based on a comic book superhero franchise. So it's only fitting that after a season of positive reviews, the show would get a film adaptation. And that's what we got in the form of Mask of the Phantasm. This time around, we get a movie that was released between the first and second seasons of the show. And it's set in both the past and the present because the show not only looks at the new villain that Batman must face, but also sort of an origin story revealing one of his lost loves and the thing that got him into crime fighting in the first place. So it also serves as sort of an origin story for the character. Don't worry though, we don't have to sit through Thomas and Martha Wayne's murders again. This actually takes a pretty fresh spin on the material. And of course, the TV show itself had a pretty massive rogues gallery, but here the emphasis is primarily on the mysterious Phantasm who's going around Gotham City and knocking off all the mob bosses. Batman, of course, is one of the first people to be blamed and an overzealous police department immediately issues a manhunt for the Dark Knight, but as anyone knows, that's not the case because Batman's not the type to kill his victims. And Bruce Wayne not only has to deal with this problem, but he's also reunited with Andrea Beaumont, his former lost love from so many years ago when he was first starting his crime-fighting campaign. And while a lot of the rogues gallery of the TV show is absent here, Mark Hamill thankfully reprises his role as the Joker and certainly gets some of the show's best appearances, best lines, and best moments. It only clocks in at about 76 minutes, but it packs more plot, more depth, more action, and more drama than many live-action incarnations of the character. I can easily say this is one of my favorite Batman movies, when I was a kid, I didn't really appreciate this one too much, but as an adult, I look back and see it for the work of art that it really is. And in fact, even though this is only rated PG, having a theatrically released film meant the Warner Brothers people could go a little more edgy and adventurous than they could with the restrictions of the Fox Kids Network, and that certainly shows in the final product. If you're a Batman fan at all, you probably already know how well-revered this film is and the place that it holds in the hearts of Batman fans. And I'm personally very happy to see this one, rather unexpectedly, make its 4K debut. The 4K disc, of course, adds HDR to the transfer. No Dolby Vision on this one, because Warner doesn't seem to use Dolby Vision on their retro titles when they get reissued in, in 4K. But I am happy to say, despite a few soft-looking shots here and there, overall, this is a very good-looking disc. You get nice, deep, dark black levels and a lot of punch with the colors. I don't know that I'd say this is a massive improvement over the existing Blu-ray disc, 
But I am happy to say everything does look very good here. One minor complaint, though, is we only get the 1.85 to 1 version, the widescreen version. We don't get the 1.33 to 1 full screen open matte version, and we had two aspect ratios on the previous Blu-ray. I really wish that at least given that option, although the framing for the most part never really feels cluttered or anything, and it's pretty clear that this was animated with the intention of being released on the big screen, and most of the moments look pretty solid throughout. Disappointingly, this release does fall through in the bonus features department. Because there's no Blu-ray included, we don't get any of the Blu-ray bonus features. The older Blu-ray had a theatrical trailer and even a Justice League episode that had the character of the Phantasm in it. We only get one feature on here, but thankfully it's brand new and it's an excellent feature that runs about 25 minutes. And that's a retrospect on the life of Kevin Conroy, who voiced Bruce Wayne, Batman, on the animated series and in many subsequent Batman animated projects. I mean, it's certainly a heartfelt tribute to Conroy, who sadly we lost not too long ago, and it's an absolute must-watch if you're a fan. Should you go out and buy this release, I am disappointed at the lack of an included Blu-ray copy, any of those older bonus features, and of course the fact they didn't create a steelbook to go along with this, which is quite surprising. Still, if you are a fan and you can find this for a decent price, it's certainly worth adding to your collection. It remains one of my all-time favorite Batman films, and even though the lack of bonuses is disappointing, the transfer is pretty solid, and the movie's as fresh as ever, even 30 years later. So, at the very least, I can give this one a modest recommendation. If you're a fan, I think you'll be happy with what you get here. Are you a fan of Batman Mask of the Phantasm? Is this your all-time favorite Batman movie? If not, what is? Comment down below. And let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.